Well, it was 30 years ago tomorrow that Senator Feinstein became mayor of San Francisco following the horrible murders at City Hall. Supervisor Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone were shot to death. The movie Milk opens this week, but perhaps not as much is known about George Moscone. Tonight, ABC 7's Carolyn Tyler with reflections from Moscone's son and his best friend. I remember that just like it was yesterday. Last time I saw my dad was the morning he was killed. Chris Moscone was just 16 years old when his father, Mayor George Moscone, was assassinated at San Francisco City Hall, November 27, 1978. My father was a great man. He worked hard. He gave his life for what he did. What George Moscone did has been overshadowed by the murder that same day of Harvey Milk. As the nation's first openly gay supervisor, he became a legend. But as mayor, Moscone also ushered in a seismic change. We're going to spread the action to people whose names never appear in columns, who never appear in the society pages, but who are simply hardworking, dedicated San Franciscans. Former Congressman and State Senator John Burton shared these pictures of himself with the man he called his best friend. He says Moscone was the first mayor to put the neighborhoods ahead of downtown business interests. And uh, I think what he did by opening up City Hall, by appointing represented Asians, African Americans, Latinos, gays to commissions and things that... I mean, that was it. That, I mean, that's democracy. Moscone's successor, Dianne Feinstein, felt obligated to honor that legacy. Have been shot. And early on, I decided that I was not going to let assassination work, that I would keep everybody, from the chief of police to all the commissioners to his staff, until... I ran on my own and was mayor in my own right. Today, there's a convention center that bears his name, an elementary school, and a bust at City Hall. If some have forgotten George Moscone, his family and friends never will. I remember. The fact that there's no parades every year, or there is, and he's not the number one guy and all that, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother us. We just keep private. But on this 30th anniversary, more of the public is looking back and learning about George Moscone. In San Francisco, Carolyn Tyler, ABC 7 News.